Welcome to another Impartial Theorist. Yep. Things are getting interesting, as always. So, we're going to start off with the media. And one particular media figure in particular. John Lemon, he grew wild recently. Well, Trump, Trump has broken him. Because if you remember, Don Lemon used to be like... He's, like his name was a low-key a racial slur like against certain black people like not not really an uncle tom but like <laughs> you kind of really low-key kind of white kind of black person yeah but in a negative way yeah but now like he's growing out in afro and shit like he's getting it yeah well during the obama years like i remember him like being on cnn telling people like pull up their pants and shit yeah <laughs> like yeah, yeah he, he didn't like certain types of black people yeah but now, like, it's just, now they're just attacking, like, Trump is just attacking everybody, and he's changed Don Lemon's whole fucking stance. Like, there was this video that we're about to play now, and just the way Don Lemon starts this shit is amazing. <laughs> this is CNN Tonight. I'm Don Lemon. The president of the United States is racist. <laughs> that's a, that's a fucking... <laughs> That's one Today, hell of a President fucking Trump intro. They're like two second pause. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, from Haiti, from like, yeah, I said that shit. Like, what are you going to do? And I quote, Why are we having all these people from shithole countries come here? <laughs> but you know who he did say he would welcome here? He said the U.S. should bring in more people from countries like Norway. And CNN is told that he went on to say, Why do we need more Haitians? Take them out. Those comments are frankly disgusting there's other language i'd like to use but we are on television but you know what <laughs> they're not shocking not even really surprising because this is who donald trump is this is what he thinks but really what would donald Lemon say what do you think would be his worst <laughs> if, he, if he really could just let <laughs> oh at, at one point he kind of wants to say i forget what it is he was going to called him an asshole or some shit and he's he's he stops he says i would call him a but i can't say that on tv yeah clearly fucking asshole like in the context of and like you can't call the president an asshole like you had anchor yeah i still feel like even if he could though he'd still be a pretty mild well, that, that, he, <laughs> start, he <laughs> called the president racist though. Yeah. it's about economics my like this this dude in the, the corner, the bottom left, co- bottom right corner is a bitch. <laughs> you see the dude in the middle? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking jaw drop. Now, let me, let me, you called on me, so mm-hmm. let me finish. Truer words. My you know what, ex- you know what, John Frederick? Have you, you, know what, you know what, John Frederick? John, Frederick? John, until that last you comment, off, no, yeah, I'm, I'm going to cut you off. Can we please cut him off? Can we take him off the screen? He <laughs> <laughs> literally I cut off his mic. Like, <laughs> I don't even need to respond. On live to TV. I laid it all out in the thing. We can have this conversation, and we don't need someone who's going to make excuses for racism. So, Charles, go on. What do you think of this? <laughs> I, I honestly think that, that that's that's like he cut off the dude on live TV, no fuck give it. Was there more before that? Uh, yeah, there was. There was also this. Um, I'm gonna. But I mean, was that like he cut him off after that comment, or was yeah, there? Because he was basically calling black people lazy and like uneducated. Yeah. So, and Don Lemon took offense to that because he's also black. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> well, and it, just because it's a. Just bullshit out yeah. here. There's really no other way to spin that. I, I don't. That's what I don't even get. He's saying it's about. Oh yeah, he's saying it's about economics, and that's basically what Trump is saying. Like, he wants wealthy, educated people coming to this country. Yeah. Like, I saw he's, a thing. He would accept Asians. Like, <laughs> yeah, but he's still kind of racist towards Asians, though. He's playing into stereotypes that Asians. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, that's like even that like. That's, like, what he used as a fucking excuse. Yeah. Like, oh, I would take Asians. It's, like, that's it's still smart. fucking, yeah. like... Yeah, that's the like only the reason that he ...that Asians are smarter and, like... <laughs> you, you'll be shocked not all Asians are that smart. Hearing John's defense of Trump, you know, and, and, and of, this, and the, of this overtly 
racist aspect of it. It, it no shocks me that we still have people racist. in this country. You know, just don't He's saying that same shit that like conservative. If you kids don't say that, that there's a way everybody in Africa is starving, that kind of fucking... Of this country. He, but he's taking it to a more Americans. racist fucking level. Because like he literally just flat out called him shit this country To accept people from around the world and of varying backgrounds. And you know what, John? I'm sure your ancestors here weren't descended from the Mayflower so, um, yeah, yeah. in some cloud of heavenly light. I'm sure they came here from Ireland or Germany or Italy or somewhere else. And you know what? Back then, they were the shithole people. Back then, they were the people who were looked down upon. And you know what? If this is a country that's based on the proposition that we have <laughs> an American space, system, bro. an American dream, an American uh, uh, framework that allows people to come here and work hard and raise their families and engage in society and contribute to society, yeah. then your idea that these people should be bounded out of here because they happen to come from the shithole countries is absurdly un-American, absurdly unconstitutional, and not conservative in any way whatsoever. <laughs> and if you believe that, go on Amazon, order yourself a He's point really by hat, the fuck head up. down to Home Depot and get the yeah. wood to build a burning cross. Because that's the kind Rick of thing Wilson. you're talking about. That's He's where your attitude leads dude. to. Right. John. Yeah. Well, it's about economics, Rick, and you can throw all the insults you want. I appreciate it. Why do you uh, keep saying this about economics? Look, at the end of the day, no, you don't appreciate it, John. Uh, you, are a weak, you are a weak, <laughs> impotent person who can't handle the fact that there are people yeah. who don't look like you who want to come to this country because our system is awesome. You hate that. You hate it so, so much your, because you're your just so weak inside. <laughs> That's your substantive argument to me, Rick Wilson, who backed every losing John, candidate. John, I will gut market. you like a That's fish. <laughs> <laughs> you want to keep this up. So now <laughs> you're losing this, guys. Okay, you're losing this based entirely on the fact that Rick, those people are brown. Let me respond. Let's, let me let's, respond. He's really said I'll answer. gut you like a fish. You can insult me all you want. I could really care less, okay? Rick, Rick so go ahead and do what you <laughs> can. Tweet it out for your 500 followers. Here's the bottom line. This is not about race. The president said <laughs> you can't even for say two it seriously. years he is going to curtail yeah. immigration <laughs> into this country, <laughs> which drives down race. wages for the American worker, and he wants That's to go to a merit. Hey, hey, John, let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. I promise you, you'll get a question. chance. Go ahead, John. D John, did you finish you know, your point? When you allow people, when you allow people under a scam lottery visa program. <laughs> to come into the, the, the United States that mm. do not contribute I'm, I'm to done the... with this shit. He's, <laughs> yeah, he's just, he's just spouting shit. <laughs> but yeah, that video is kind of amazing. And also, like, af after the fact, after he went and said that shit, he responded again because the dude was kind of insulting him. The, the dude was insulting him, him and his Twitter followers and shit. And he went on Twitter and said... Oh yeah, he was kind of trolling them. Anonymous racist shit bags are pretty riled up. Hmm. This whole shit is wild. And then Trump did a response here. Uh, the language used at me at the DACA meeting was tough, but this was not the language used. Yeah, the what was saying. really tough was the outlandish proposal made. <laughs> Big setback for DACA. Aren't you trying to repeal that shit? Why is he acting yeah, like what? he's he's basically what he's 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 pandering to both sides right now, like he's he's what he's saying is I didn't say that shit, and then wink wink to the to the Republican people, because you know the Republicans when he says certain shit and he takes it back they still believe in the shit that he said they say he just had to say that to calm the liberals down that's the main thing that they keep fucking saying, like his apologies don't matter to them when he says he's wrong it doesn't matter to them. Because apparently that just that's just a farce, a fake news or some shit. But yeah, and I mean he's saying he's not really denying it. He's just yeah. saying the language used was tough. Yeah. So that's that's just being tough. Your country is a shithole. <laughs> <laughs> Quit being a pussy. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> he's just he's such a wild shit. <laughs> he just. Okay, so oh, at this shit. meeting, uh, with the meeting that Trump's talking about here, yeah. for, with he met with uh, congressional Congress people, talk about DACA, and um, the reports. There's no recording of him saying this, but many people were in the room and heard it. Um, he did multiple times. Apparently, he kept saying that shit. 
Yeah, and one of the quotes here is, why are we having all these people from shithole countries come here? Quote, end quote. Uh, and then he suggested uh, the United States should instead bring more people from countries such as Norway, whose prime minister he just met with. Um, and he said he would also be opening open to more immigrants from Asian countries because he felt that they helped the United States economically. Which, yeah, like we were saying there, that's just racist, too. Like. He's basically saying they're smart. So they should come over. But the rest are too lazy, so... Yeah, yeah. and then he went fucking hardest on Haitians. Yeah. Saying, why do we need more Haitians? Take them out. <laughs> Which, Jesus, I mean, like... The man is crazy. <laughs> like, what? <clears throat> you should know by now that shit he says is gonna leak. Because nobody fuck with you, low-key. Yeah, like if it's not your staff, don't say. Even your staff leaks your shit too. Like who? Can well, you and trust? also like Haitians. Like what are Haitians like? That's such a small country. Like how many Haitians Florida are there? Florida is full of Haitians, bro. Yeah, but Florida is full of like Haitians, Cubans, like Puerto Ricans. Yeah, basically immigrants. And yeah, from people. the Caribbean, which yeah. is all right there under Florida. Which yeah. Uh, yeah. Nah, he's fucking crazy and he's kind of stupid like why would you even say that kind of shit like, you pick Norway the whitest white country that you can fucking pick yeah I mean just for optics alone like, <laughs> like that just sounds like you need to watch what you say cause really you can't he can't trust anybody and that should make him feel bad cause like if you can't even say fuck up shit in, in the privacy of your own white house where the fuck can you say fuck up shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah poor guy and now the UK doesn't want him to come he's oh shit before we move on to the, to the UK shit yeah I just wanna see apparently <laughs> the Norwegians are <laughs> seem kinda offended that he used them to be the white white country in his, in his attack on black people and Puerto Ricans and fucking Haitians and shit <laughs> Trump has achieved a likely feat of praising Norway while offending his, his citizens. He basically just called them, he's like, he's calling them crackers, low key. No offense, no offense to anybody with that word, but shit. He's just saying they're, they're the whitest white people that he can think of. Yeah, so Hill, Hildy, Ray, Raystead, whatever, however you say that. Uh, yeah, it says quote Norwegians in general have such a minority complex that as long as we are noticed we get very excited but in general we are not wanting to be flattered by this US president in this way <laughs> flattered <laughs> I don't know flattered but <laughs> flattered it says flattered but I'm guessing it's uh, a yeah, they fucked it yeah. Up. so yeah doesn't sound like Norwegians are too pumped about that's, <laughs> that's kind of a backhanded insults too it's like Norwegians like to be praised but like not from you yeah yeah Wow. Well, the UK doesn't want him to come too. Yeah. And Trump is still throwing a fit over Loki. Like, let's 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 be real. He's not invited to the royal wedding. They don't fuck with him. Like they've never fucked with him. The UK doesn't fuck with him. They've had two two like they they've talked about him twice in Congress trying to ban the dude. Like they really and some people want him arrested, which I don't even know if they can do that, but like damn the British people are fucking ruthless. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Trump Trump is saying that he's going to cancel his trip to the UK because he, cause he feels like because um, he feels like the embassy that they built there and moved, the, the new embassy they built was a waste of money because Obama wasted the money, even though Obama didn't even do that shit. It was Bush, but forget that. Um, he feels like Obama wasted, wasted money building this new place when they already had a, a better place downtown. Even though a bunch of a bunch of companies have moved to the area where, um, where they set up the new embassy, like I, I let me find out what it is. Shit. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know. The UN's probably just about done. <laughs> yeah, they don't fuck with him anymore. Yeah, they I mean, never fuck with him, but like they try to give him a chance. Yeah. But <laughs> I think it's I think it's over. Well, what was what was one of his tweets? Oh, reason I cancelled my trip to London is that I'm not a big fan of the Obama administration having sold perhaps the best location and finest embassy in London for peanuts. 
only to build a new one in an off location for 1.2 billion dollars bad deal wanted me wanted me to cut ribbon no and <laughs> yeah that quote, right they wanted him to cut the because he's the president <laughs> that's literally the only reason why and the, this whole thing is riddled with inconsistencies because the obama administration didn't do that shit it was bush no, so they didn't sell the shit they were they had a lease they the people like it was prince prince something one of the princes he leased that shit to, to america for like literally peanuts so they they weren't getting they weren't making pe- they weren't losing peanuts they they weren't um they they didn't sell the place for peanuts because they didn't own the place in the first place they were leasing that shit for sh- a little amount of money and now he's he, and, and the reason why they had to get rid of the building was Loki was a shitty it was a shitty building and it would have cost too much for sk- to to upgrade to like the right security clearance now because it's it's in like main London and it's like. Any anything can happen there. It's just safer to move to move slightly away from a congested area. Well, I mean, it's just like what kind of thinking is that anyway? Like, if you were the boss or like president of any company or whatever, and like the previous president like made a bad deal, even if that was the case, like and got a different location like what is that how is that an argument for like oh i'm not gonna go it's there not, because he's, of that he's, like, he's not going there because they don't fucking want him to come yeah i mean it's just like yeah i guess the point i'm trying to make is like that's such like a grasping it straws like excuse yeah. it's just like honestly, i'm mad about the building got sold for cheap because like, he can't he fuck? can't say he's mad at the royal family and the british citizens and honestly if 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 the royal family invite obama to this shit like it will, it will break his heart. Like, he can't take that. He might yeah. die, so just do it. But, like, you get what I'm saying? He can't take that shit. It's too, humili- it's too humiliating for the dude. Like, wanted me to cut the ribbon. No. <laughs> He's making it sound like, like, they, like they had a list of people that they, like they're going to invite fucking Jay-Z to come cut this shit. Nah. <laughs> and then Ed Miliband said nope is because nobody wanted you to come <laughs> you got the message <laughs> 107,000 people like that shit that shit he wrote that shit last night though this morning shit 12 <laughs> yeah wow people really don't like like mm. honestly I'm, I'm over this dude let's see if there's any other thing we could talk about okay still comes back to Trump but Sam's Club Oh, yeah. So, just to follow up on the, uh, all these, you know, tax cut, everybody's getting rich, everybody's getting bonuses, and then getting laid off. Well, at least that's what's happening at Sam's Club. Yeah. Walmart, uh, who owns Sam's Club, on the same day that they announced that they're going to be uh, giving up to $1,000 bonuses for employees, I don't think it said how many, but also increasing their minimum wage. Is that what it was? I don't know. Raising yeah. wages and giving bonuses, but yeah. Walmart also fired people too. Oh, I didn't hear about yeah. Walmart, but yeah, yeah. So Sam's Club says they're closing down sixty three yeah. stores, like in the next what they, couple they, months. They've or already something. started closing them down. That's the fucked up part. Yeah. Workers went to work and the shit was closed. Yeah. Well, no. It's, I read this article on Business Insider. Yeah, a bunch of apparently like the yes yesterday they showed up to work and the shit was just closed. Yeah, the CEO. John Ferner notified employees of the closures in an email, email, company-wide email sent Thursday. So I was like... The day that they, yeah, the, that they already figured out they can't work. Yeah. So I guess some of the places are going to get turned into like distribution centers for online and those people are going to have the opportunity to apply for the new job. Like, <laughs> Basically, you just apply for your job again, which you probably won't get. Like, sure. Honestly, yeah, I guess the thing, though, that, like, this is just shitty to do this to people, but, like, at the same time, like, I don't know, if all Walmarts just kept closing and went out of business, that would be great, so, <laughs> like, there's, there's at least a silver yeah. lining to this, and, like, for mom and pop businesses, yeah, but, like, still, now they've got people's, people relying on those companies for income, 11,000 people are about to lose their jobs at some Sam's Club, yeah, yeah. And they were probably already getting, like, food stamps and government benefits because, like, that's most Walmart employees. And then now they're going to be getting unemployment. So, 
Good job, tax cut, saving <laughs> so much money, getting people <laughs> what, what is off Walmart? benefits. That Bro, makes so much sense. Let's, let's, let's just end this Yo, Facebook shit. Live, what up? We lit it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little too <laughs> That's a New York, that's, that's literally some, some shit that Meryl says. It's a New York thing. Oh, yeah. At this whack-ass funeral, you already know. Say Big Kenny from the hood. He said... Why is the iPad? Why do you look at I love these videos so much. Yeah, so apparently don't die while you owe this guy money because he will definitely... <laughs> That's so disrespectful. That's like the most disrespectful thing you could do to a person. I know, like... Like, it's more disrespectful than killing him yourself because, like... Show up to the funeral and slap, slap the, the body. dude in front of your family. <laughs> your family just sitting there. Wow, that's, that's that takes some balls, man. I yeah. gotta commend this dude. Like, make sure all your children grow up confident enough to smack a dead dude in this <laughs> casket. <laughs> well, and I mean, I just feel like that just, the whole dude's legacy, like, if he had any at this point, it's like, gone. like, it's you, gone, like, you that, that it. slap you took it away, like, your casket. it's just gonna be, like, a shameful burial yeah. after that. Like, the last person before they close your casket is somebody <laughs> that bitch slapped you. <laughs> wow. So wrong. It's been another episode. We will catch you next week. Yep, when Trump does some other dumb shit. <laughs>